Justin, um, welcome back to, uh, to Bellator Fight Week. Uh, a little bit nicer of a, a venue maybe than the last time you fought. Are you excited to be here in, in Hawaii for this one? Oh man, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I'm very pumped to be here. I've uh, never been out to Hawaii before, so uh, definitely going to go handle some business and then afterwards stay out here a couple of days and enjoy it. And uh, this is the first time that you've come into a fight with a, uh, a loss in the rearview mirror. So mentally, has that changed you at all? Is there any sort of uh, it different fight feels coming into this one? Uh, a little bit, man. You know, I took that loss pretty personal. You know, it was the first one in my career. So uh, obviously, you know, it's uh, take it personal. I didn't like it. I hate losing. Um, doesn't matter if it's chess, doesn't matter if it's cards, doesn't matter if it's a race, doesn't matter if it's a fight, man. I hate that shit. I hate losing. So uh, took it personal, took some time, uh, reanalyzed some things, focused on some things, and uh, we weren't too far off. So now we're back, better than ever, evolved, grown, ready to handle some business. What were those things? Was there anything you were able to really nail down and, and think, hey, if I did this differently last time, we would have made that difference? Um, you know, I think the last fight, I think I got pulled into a brawl, kind of uh, landed some strikes early that uh, I felt, I saw his eyes, I saw his knees kind of weaken, and uh, I think I got pulled away from being a smart fighter. I got pulled into a brawl. I think uh, I could have mixed up my striking a little bit more, could have utilized my wrestling a little bit more. Instead, I kind of let him dictate the pace, dictate where he wanted to go. And, uh, you know, hey man, kudos to him. He came in and handled business, but uh, now it's my time to shine get back thankful for it you know i think i've grown as a person grown as a fighter hey i'm back baby let's do this and i know aaron's stock has probably never been higher than it is right now do you feel like that that's a fight with you guys both rising that down the line you guys will see each other again absolutely without a doubt in my mind um you know obviously i gotta go get go handle business get a couple wins back climb that ladder but uh hey i'm here i'm for real i'm about it and uh maybe it'll be for the belt who knows I would call it a hostile environment you're walking into fighting a Hawaiian uh, this weekend. But, I mean, Hawaiian, they're also nice. I, I don't know if that's necessarily fair. But uh, what do you expect from the crowd? Now, obviously, they'll be backing uh, your opponent, Kai Kamaka. Is this something that you, you embrace, kind of playing the, the spoiler role? You know, I kind of figured it, man. I've fought in hostile territory before. I've wrestled in hostile territory before. And uh, sometimes the fans aren't so pleasant. But by the time the fight's done, they're going to be my fans. So it is what it is. You talked about last fight kind of being maybe sucked into a brawl a little bit. Uh, Kai Kamak is a guy that gets in those sort of brawls. So uh, what's your mental going into this? Is it, is it to avoid that? Is it to kind of just do your thing? Or, or what are you expecting? From, what should fans expect to see out of you? Hey, man, you guys expect to see me do my thing, man. If I got to beat this dude up on the feet, then so be it. I'll beat him up on the feet. If I got to wrestle him, break him down, then that's what's going to happen. Um, Kai's tough, man. He's going to bring it. He's a gamer. He's going to bring the fight. I know that, especially being here in Hawaii. He wants to put on a show. But in my eyes, I'm just all around better than him. So uh, I'm going to fuck him up. All right. Jay, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, thanks very much. And, uh, you know, Justin, when we talk about the uh, the first loss of your career, does it take any of the edge off of it that it came against a guy as highly touted as Aaron Pico? And does that experience kind of do something for you in terms of your, your future? Uh, absolutely, man. You know, there's always pressure coming into a fight. You know, nobody wants to get beat up on live television in front of thousands, maybe even millions of people. But, you know, that's the game we play. Obviously, with that O gone, I think I can loosen up a little bit and just go enjoy doing what I do best. So uh, I think that pressure of the O is gone. But uh, hey, there's still pressure. But pressure makes diamonds, right? So absolutely. You know, getting this fight in in April, there's still a lot of 2022 left. Things are opening up again. What's your hope for the rest of uh, the year in terms of your fighting career? Shoot, man, I'm trying to get paid. So uh, obviously I got to work, I got to fight to do that. And, uh, you know, expect to see me back either pretty soon. Um, if not, maybe we'll renegotiate and uh, fight later on this year. So definitely see me fighting again, at least once this again this year, maybe even twice, twice would be better, but we'll see what happens. Next question, say it. Hey, Justin. How's it going? Uh, not bad, man. I'm just wondering, 
what did you what's the biggest lesson you learned from your first professional loss you know i feel like i'm a very smart fighter i feel like i've always dictated the pace and i've always been in control of where the fight goes um sometimes that changes but even if that changes man you can't lose your mindset you can't lose your focus you gotta stay in the fight you gotta dictate where it goes stay in control Next question will come from Kobe. Hey, Jay Train, Kobe from the Pro Sports Podcasters. How's it going, buddy? Good, brother. Good to hear from you. Just wanted to ask you, now that you've taken your first loss, have you changed your preparation at all? No. No, man. Um, I don't think we're that far off. You know, the things I'm doing are working. But uh, like I said before, you got to keep growing in this game. You got to evolve. You got to keep growing. And if you're not, you're getting past. So uh, we kept it pretty similar. A couple minor details we tweaked um, just in our training and our recovery, a little bit in our diet. And, uh, you know, this game's trial and error. So there's going to be losses. Losses are going to happen. Even the greatest champions have fallen before. But uh, if I know anything about myself, it's only going to make me stronger, come back better than ever. So, uh, you know, we didn't have to tweak too much.